everybody welcome back okay we are on part nine of the journal uh, lash uh, slash lap book um, from a mailer and so in this portion guys I'm going to focus on uh, the ephemera being added to some of the tucks and pockets and so on um, we've still got to do something about the closure and then a pocket on the back. I don't know how long this is going to go. I know yesterday's uh, part eight was ended up being a really long one. Uh, we'll just see. We're just going to jump in. Now, I will say I've dug through some of my other uh, B kits. And just um, to share with you some of the other things I'm going to be using today. This is um, the Beekeeper. This is a calico collage. She's on um, Etsy. I'm going to pull some of these in um, to use on a couple of these things. Um, no other reason than they, the colors do complement, and I've got an abundance of these. Um, I'm trying to dwindle down the things I've already printed. So... Um, that's the reason I'm going to go ahead and start incorporating some of those into this. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, guys, I want to put a nice big journal card on this one. And last night I went ahead and cut out uh, things from the, uh, the kit itself. And so I'm going to use those filling out, because um, as I said, I'm, what I'm trying to avoid is having a lot of extra bits and pieces from kits, particularly now that I'm in this kind of downsizing period. So, just <clears throat> like I said, I've got uh, kits from My Parch Prints, Artie Mays, Calico Collage, um, and a, a couple of other ladies, um, but I can't think of them right off. You know, I've been I've been adding to the bee collection for years. <laughs>
because of what you guys are creating. Um, I really, really would like to. good for um, people's mental health and so I do I genuinely just love to see what other people are doing and um, and being supportive because I think I think we've got to be supportive of each other particularly now with everything going on we need to be coming together and lifting each other up instead of uh, tearing each other down. Now, my concern <laughs> with this is I hope that doesn't overhang. So there we go. Really simple, but I think it's cute. And then that <clears throat> leaves the space on the back. You could add a photo or do more journaling because we've got plenty of space in this for our journaling, but I thought how fun to be able to add some photos um, and then pockets where you can add memorabilia for, I don't know, this would probably, you know, maybe even three months journaling into this. It depends on how much you journal, but um, for me, I think this would last me probably three months. So that just sits over. Let me just make sure. Yep, yeah, that's not going to be a problem when that closes. Awesome. Okay, so we've got that one done. And let me just look through and see. Because with this we didn't do anything. But you do what you want. Now this one I know is going to hold... We've got some journal cards, and I've cut those up last night, guys, so you wouldn't have to watch me do this. So I'm just going to add a couple of these from the kit. And then we've got the tag there. 
this little one. We could add more. Oh, these. I know I've got to do something to these because these I left in there plain. So, let's see what we're going to do here. I think one of them, I'm just going to cut some of these little bees out and just leave it plain. Just do some of the smaller ones. Gosh, that's awfully, yeah, that'll fit. I've really enjoyed working on this project. This has been a lot of fun. Um, and I'm super excited to get on to the next portion of the um, little multi-pocket clutch. Um, I've added that um, video. And that's going to be, um, that's for my next level up. Here we go. That is for my sparkling. And yeah, sparkling and flourishing um, patrons. But we're doing a um, like an ephemera holder. So I'm super excited to get back onto that. Okay, I'm actually going to just leave that. As it is, there's a bit of writing space there. And I think I'll do the same on that one because I think that stands out nice against the craft. So guys, I am, um, I think I mentioned the other day, I'm, I was considering adding another tier, um, but I've decided not to. I don't want um, to, um, I've decided against that, but what I am going to do over the next few weeks is I'll be adding some different, um, some more rewards to the current levels. Um, so you might want to check that out in case you are considering, um, you know, maybe upgrading or um, changing. I will be doing some different um, rewards. I'm not taking away anything, just so you know. Um, oh, here's a pocket too. I could stick something. Let me put something in. I won't be taking anything away. It's just I'm going to look at on um, some of the tiers, possibly adding in a bit more. So it's exciting. A lot of things happening. <clears throat> it's taken me a while. You know, I didn't want to overcommit 
when I first started, but now that I've been doing this a little bit, I feel confident now to go ahead, because you guys know the last thing I, I cannot, um, my word means a lot to me, <laughs> and if I say I'm going to do something, I, I, this is why I, tr I don't overcommit to things, because I cannot stand to let people down. It's just not, it doesn't sit well with me. So that's why I've been kind of hesitant on, you know, taking on too much. But now I've, I'm feeling more confident with the patron now um, that I can do a bit more uh, without it, it just being too overwhelming. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple of things here and there. Let me see, I like this little one. Maybe that will fit up there. What color? I've got this peach. I'm going to use that because I never get... I don't know how I even ended up ordering this, but I... Rarely do I have anything that I can use this, so I'm going to take advantage of it. It does complement this kit. This is going to be so full, guys. Um, of things to use <clears throat> because I have got so many things left over and um, I'm just going to pack this thing out. <laughs> Absolutely pack it out. and There will be enough to use in this journal and another because as I said I don't want to be lugging all of these digitals around. I just love, look at that, isn't that sweet? Now that's from my porch prints. That little image was. I got the um, bee bundle because you know how I'm loving them bees. And that kit is huge. Okay, that's fine. We're good with that one. This flips up. We've got two pockets here. So I could do a large, uh, let me see if I've got a jumbo tag from any of my ladies. I do. Look at that. This is Calico Collage. Now this isn't <clears throat> part of the B. This was a Sunny S-U-N-N-Y morning kit when I was designing for Norella. And I loved these. That one was so 70s to me. That is just such a retro looking tag. I love that tag. <laughs> That tells you, I'm telling my age, aren't I? Remember when they had, if you're of my age, you'll remember when um, the appliances were like that army green and then shag carpet. Oh, so many people we knew had that, that color green shag carpet. It, it must be the most disgusting thing that we ever put in our house was shag carpet. <laughs> It cracks me up to think back about that. And then sometimes the tubs, the tubs and the sinks would be that just putrid green. <laughs> but that was what was in. And our house, when I was, oh my gosh, I'm off on a tangent now. This might be too long, I'm thinking, guys, because this, it is going to be, because that one, I forgot. That's only about six inch. Oh, what a shame. I think I'm going to just cut it off some. So anyways, yeah, when I was growing up, and I, go figure, because my mom, you know, my mom died when I was only a year. But she had chosen lavender tub and sink in our house in Michigan. Maybe, you know, I never thought about it. Maybe that's why I love lavender. 
it's never even occurred to me to just now. But that was what was in our bathroom. Because um, that was back when you only had one bathroom. I mean, can you imagine? Everybody's got to have two, three, four bathrooms now. But when we were growing up, we had one bathroom. And uh, one, I'll t okay, so now I'm off on a story. So one day I got really smart. I was about 10. So I was old enough, I should have known better, right? <laughs> um, I decided my friend was over, and I was like, hey, I've got the, this great idea. It's Michigan, it's in the winter, you're not, you know, it's too cold to be outside. I got this great idea. Let's go swing on the shower curtain. And she's like, Lori's like, okay, you go first. And so I. I mean, I didn't just get up there and do a little swing. I was like full on. And the minute I went, all my weight got on that. The shower curtain came down. And that was back when the tubs, they weren't this fiberglass. They were the, like, they're like a cast iron in, you know, covered tub. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I had um, knocked myself out. And um, when I come to, oh man, I had a concussion, and my dad, you know what my dad, I crawled into the living room, and Lori's freaking out, and I crawled into the living room, and my dad's like, just go lay down for a little while, well then I started throwing up, and of course, he, he had no choice but to take me to the emergency room then, but yeah, I don't know, all these memories are just flooding back now, sorry, <laughs> okay, so I just trimmed off a little bit of that to make that fit, now I need... I'm just going to put a little bit of the linen thread up here. But yeah, uh, that tag. Now see, that's all sprung from that retro 70s tag. Oh, too funny. Too funny. I think personally, I don't know, maybe every generation thinks it, but I think we ought to go back to the way things used to be. People getting too much, too much stuff now. We were happy. We grew up in a small place, but we never um, even thought about that. We were, as soon as we could be outside or off to the lakes, that's what we were doing. Didn't care. We didn't care about what size house we had. How it's changed. Oh, Lord. Okay, 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 okay. What else? I need to do something here. I'm just going to put a few things here and there because I've got loads of things. Oh, look at these little jars. Look at that. Life is the flower of which love is the honey. That's so sweet. I don't know. Do you guys think that's too plain? I wonder if I ought to put something there. It kind of seems a bit plain, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Alright, I'll give that some thought. Before this goes out, I might end up tweaking that. So, I'm going to put these in there. And I'll see how we get on. If if I've still got a lot of stuff, I'll come back and pad it out more. I, I really like how that one's come out. Okay, so that one... Oh, here... How am I doing in time? Oh, goodness, we're almost out. I did go ahead, guys. I told you that was bugging me, so I covered that up. Um, and actually, we could add something within this as well. What I think I'll do, look, I've got this, and I believe it's got a little note card that goes with it or something. Yeah. Let me do that. Okay, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to... Okay, so let me get this ready. I can see this is going to be much longer than I thought again, guys. So I'm so sorry. This is ending up being a super long tutorial, but um, it just, this is, this is the reality of it. It takes ages to do these.
but I do hope you guys are enjoying it. And as I said, I'd really, really like to see um, what you know any of the projects that I've done. I'd love to see what if if you've done them. I'd love to see some pictures of it. Okay, I'm not going to glue this one because it might uh, end up being a. Um, another bit of a secret writing space for somebody so I'm actually just going to tuck that in there and so that portion's done and then we're back over here to this these can have some things tucked into them I'll get back to that um, here we've got kind of an expandable pocket and then room to do something there <clears throat> got this and then this I've went ahead and cut out this is going to go into here so we're going to go ahead and make this one I was, um, I, I used to tell a lot of stories on the, um, my tutorials, and I don't know what, I don't know why I kind of got really self-conscious about it, and I just stopped doing it, guys, I don't know, um, and it's just strange that today I, I kind of just, went off on one. I don't know. Makes you wonder about the mind. <laughs> what triggers it? But yeah, I don't know. I got really uncomfortable on YouTube. I almost felt like I couldn't even be myself towards the end. Uh, and it, I mean, not the end, but you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't go on there as much now. Um, and that's just because I, I don't have a lot of time. But I, I didn't say I'm just not a person to start talking about, you know, dirty laundry. But yeah, it just, um, there's just, I think everybody that's on YouTube at some point experiences things that aren't nice and um, yeah I just I just got to the point where I just didn't even want to um, I didn't feel at ease to just be myself and uh, which is probably another reason I opted to do this and I have not regretted it I love coming out in here and I love the friendships that I've made on this journey I'm gonna come back and get a um, A little, let me see if I can do a tab quickly. I've just made some amazing friendships um, with you know through this community, and so yeah, I'm really really pleased that. Um, let me just cut one out of this here. I think it happens to everybody. I don't think it's just me. I think a lot of people, and everybody handles it different. It's just for me, uh, I just don't. Well, number one, um, I'm not going to let somebody that I don't know dictate to me and bring me down because there's people, it's sad, there's people in the world who just seem to go around trying to 
bring about misery and I mean I have to deal with enough with people who I care about let alone you know people from that don't even know you and you just think ah, I can't be bothered with all that but I know some people they, it really gets to them <clears throat> and I think uh, that's why I think sometimes it's probably not everybody's cut out for it because you do put yourself out there. Oh, shoot. Okay, I've messed that one up, guys. So that's not going to go all the way in. I'm going to have to trim some of that off. Dang, I hate doing that. Okay, I'm going to have to, though. <clears throat> when I glued that, it's taken up some of that space. So I'm going to have to take it off. Here we go. There we go. That's better. And so now I can fill that in with little bits and bobs. And I'll probably do that later. Okay, so here, <clears throat> this is the little, you get a little sheet of labels. And I've just cut that out, and I thought it would be nice to just add another little tiny pocket on that corner. And then I think I'll stamp that little tag, um, but I'll do that later, guys. Um, just going to let you see kind of how we're finishing it off. So I will come back and do it. I'll stamp a... Um, I've got a couple of bumblebee stamps, so I'm going to stamp that, probably put some twine on there. And then, let's see here, this, I've got some library cards I set aside somewhere. Yep, there we go. Got that one there. This will hold a tag. Another library. I thought I had another library card. I'll put it there. Because I like those. I think those are really pretty. And I'll probably add some uh, lace to those when you at the end. See, I've got this one. I can still... Oh, I've got a couple of tags here. Um... Okay, let's see. Let me get something on this one. I like this because you got a space you can document something. I think that's really nice. Um, this extra pocket, I'm going to go ahead and put that one there because that's not going to interfere with anything. And that seems a bit plain to me. So let me do that. I'm just making more and more work, aren't I? But it's a nice a nice kit, and I've got lots, like I said, lots of journal cards and tags. I can fill all these in. Okay, that one. So I was thinking I need to do something nice with this one. Oh, this flip up here, I decided just to go ahead and use that. That was another one of those that we did um, with the inks. So I'm just going to add some lace to that. And
Okay, that one there, and I can see that needs to be padded out. So I will put another one of those in there. And I'll put another small tag just to fill that in. That one will lift up. Yeah, those are going to fall out, but that's okay. I might, um, I might even make a clip. I might put a paper clip just to tack those. Okay, so this one we're going to make for this window. Okay. I think I'd like to use the rest of this. I think that is going to be pretty. Okay, this one I know I'm going to have to trim this off because I, I already know this pocket is tight. So I'm going to just trim that. And let me see. I'm going to put this little label here. The cards like this, I don't tend to put laces um, because that's going inside that window envelope and it would just add bulk to it. I like to use, you know, everybody's different, but I like to use my laces on places like here on the corners and edges where I know it's not going to um, affect something fitting into it. But that's just me. I, I've seen other people do it. Um, and it does, it's beautiful, but I just don't tend to do it myself. I mean, I think you know by now, I'm not really, I don't tend to use a lot of the uh, laces. I like more of the, 
the twines. I love buttons, of course, and uh, some lace, but I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm more, I like more of the rustic look than the, um, than the real frilly vintage. I don't know, but uh, that's just my style. You do, you do it the way you like to do it. That's the great thing, isn't it? Everybody's different. All right, so there's another little card. That way, that would hold a couple of photos. And then I've got room now. I can add a couple of things there, but I will, again, I'm going to come back to that. Here I want a nice big tag. I seem to have lost my tearing ruler. I'm sure it's buried. Oh well. Oh well. That's just the way it's going to have to be, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to have to go with it without that.
Okay, what else, what else, what else? Let's see here. Okay, let's see, so we've got, so I'm going to fill that in, I'm happy with all these, I'm, I'm happy with that, Those, and then I'm going to make it a large tag here guys, but um, other than that, the only thing I will do before I uh, list this is I would um, go back and add some little snippet rolls, and I don't know, maybe I'll do a video. You guys let me know if you're interested in seeing um, any tutorials on like little snippets. But um, that is really going to be it. Now the outside, what we're going to do here is I've decided I've got some sorry and I know I want to be able to tie this closed. So I'm just going to get the center of this, which is there, and I'm going to get a bead of uh, Fabri-Tac.
and I'm just going to get this glued down along the back. And then the same for the front. Let's just put a little bit here. Okay, and then now, make sure that's, that's right, yep. Now we're going to get this glued down, and then I would let this sit and not bother it for a little while, okay? Because you want that to be adhered really well. Just get that down, let that sit. So that that <coughs> is glued really well, and then we'll just I'll just add some twine to hold that together on the front of that. So okay, guys. So I think that we are going to call that complete, and then when I have um, let this all dry. We will go through and I will give you a flip through and um, show you this completed. Um, the only thing, like I said, I'll do now is go back and just maybe add a few little um, bits of fabric and things throughout. Um, and then I think what I would probably do when this goes out is send a glassine full of some tabs so that could be added to it and maybe even some extra embellishment because I've got loads of them so I'm probably going to do that before that goes out but that's it I hope you guys have enjoyed that I hope that that's really given you some insight on how <laughs> to construct something like this and you can see look at that it's it closes up beautifully I'm really happy with that so that's got a nice bit of, uh, that could, and see when, even when that fills out, there's room to for that to expand, so, okay guys, I'm going to let that sit, and the next uh, time you see this, I will do a flip through, uh, take care, bye-bye.